Hey crafty friends, I have a, another journal for you. I sadly cannot remember the name of this paper collection off the top of my head. Um, uh, I will put it in the description box down below the video or in the title, I will do that. So anyway, um, I, I do love this paper collection very much. I worked with it on a project couple weeks ago and I knew the paper I had left I wanted to create a journal so this castle is from the paper and then this pretty fairy princess is from the ephemera collection so here is the binding and I did not sew this journal there's the back isn't that paper just to die for so I thought I had made the binding wide enough to accommodate what I had planned to do here, but apparently I got a little crazy. So let's untie it and see how crazy. <laughs> Sorry guys. So let's see how crazy I got and hope they shut up. <laughs> All right, first page. This is just a little pull-out card that comes out. This is all from the ephemera or the paper collection. I didn't really add anything else in there. So you could put photos or you could journal. And then we've got a um, envelope that I embellished and coffee dyed all the paper. I love to coffee dye paper. I love the crinkliness that is magnetized. This is a beautiful image from the collection. I have a metal piece there that opens like this. And then all of these little papers are just like a fold out. I think there's one in here that I sewed. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and then there's a pull out behind here. And I've got this little leaf charm so you could put photos or you can journal whatever suits your fancy oh this is the one that's sewn so I did sew that one and it's got these pages with lines and then it opens like that and that tucks in there with that beautiful butterfly. So this is a little tuck pocket and you can journal there. And then she goes back in like that. This opens up on this page. And I do recommend you get yourself a piece of chipboard so you can put it like if you wanted to journal on this page, you could put the chipboard in and then you do your journaling. Look at this beautiful vintage fairy lady. This says imagine. I just love this paper collection. Fortunately, lots of paper collections come out and I fall in love with many of them. <laughs> so lots of laces and trims. I tried to keep it in the dark and purpley lavender sorts of um, color palette because that's what this paper collection lends itself to. And we've got this page with the metal piece and the flower and the lace. Little corner ephemera. Beautiful metal butterfly. There is a vintage key. Then we've got a pocket here. And again, these all just open single fold, except for that oh, one. And this opens like that. I don't know what, I guess you could journal on that. This little And it tucks behind this pretty lady. Magic. 
magical. I had some, I had a really cool tray. I put these on to, um, to go in the oven and it kind of left a real cool pattern on there. Look at the unicorn. And this one has a pullout. You can see that kind of a diamond pattern on the paper really kind of turned out cool. There's another um, leaf charm. And another fairy from the ephemera collection. So I tried to make as many little little booklets and little tuck spots and things that I could, um, but I did eventually run out of paper. Um, I have a wing here because this is um, this is a Pegasus. opens up and I had some of these beautiful butterflies I'm not sure if those are Renee bouquets but I've had them for a long time and they were perfect for this collection Ooh, I like the color another butterfly So I had a lot of fun doing this and I wish I could keep myself from it getting so, so thick, but I know some people like little fatty journals. This is just a plain flip, flip out. I didn't have any paper left to go on that, on that one. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Looky there. And this flips open. And then this is the second signature. So that's the end of the first one. I used every last scrap of this paper. Lots of metal, laces, charms. Little metal corner piece there. Little charm here. This beautiful lady again. So many places to store your thoughts and your feelings and, you know, tell the story of yourself. This opens up. And then there is a pull out behind. Little tuck spot here. It's the center of this journal. So it's not sewn, but I do have everything secured with this um, jute. Another charm here. This opens. And then this little tag. Look at her. She's, this is the one that's on the cover. 
this pulls out. I'm telling you, tons and tons of room. Depending on how much journaling you do, this could last you years. Another metal piece. There she goes again. Sorry, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> There's a key charm right here. Another butterfly. And then here we are at the end. <laughs> so same as the front, another pull out. And look at that beautiful lady in the background. And then another envelope. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm honestly, I'm really having fun with journals right now. I'd like to do some more, but I did, um, as I left my craft room, because I do my videos in the kitchen now, because the lighting is much better. Um, Shiva, stop it. Um, I did lay out some stuff to create a mini album. So I'm just going to town, going crazy. I know I have someone who wants me to make cards, like, you know, shabby chic cards, but I have to do, I have to do what my heart leads me to do, where my creativity is going. And I hope this will be going to someone like you who might love this color scheme and this, um, sort of medieval sort of uh, theme so let me know what you guys think and if i'm headed in the right direction thanks for watching and have a happy scrappy day bye guys